Greetings and praise the Lord. I welcome you to our daily devotion. We are on the fifth episode on exact true likeness. Jesus is the exact true likeness of our God. And our fifth episode is on superior covenant. Heavenly Father, we are grateful that you have brought us this far by your grace. We thank you, Lord, because you have called us and we have continued to trust in you, O God. And we are grateful that you've given us yet another minute, another second, another hour, another season to hear your word. We don't take this for granted because, you know, there are people who do not have this great opportunity. But for us, Father, you have granted us to us, to us favor. That is why we are walking in you and desiring to know you and to walk in your ways. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for those ones, King of Glory, who have continued to suffer during this season. We pray that you rescue them and protect them and even, Lord, place them on the higher ground where they'll be able to see and experience the power of God. We thank you, Lord, even for those ones, Lord, who have continued, Lord, even to give their lives to you. We pray that you continue sustaining them and keeping them in you and leading them and guiding them so that many would desire even to wait upon you for you are our healer, you are our deliverer, you are our savior, you are the giver of life and that is why we continue to trust in you. We honor you and give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, welcome to this, um, to what we have today. In Hebrews chapter 7, verses 22 to 28, the Bible says, so, um, that is 22 to 28, so all of this magnifies the truth that we have a superior covenant with God than what they experienced. For Jesus himself is its guarantor. As additional proof, we know who there were many priests under the old system, for they eventually died and their office had to be filled by another. But Jesus permanently holds his off priestly office since he lives forever and will never have a successor. So he is able to say fully from now throughout eternity. Everyone who comes to God through him because he lives to pray uh, continually for them, he is the high priest who perfectly fit our need wholly without a trace of evil without the ability to deceive incapable of sin and exalted beyond the heavens unlike the former high priests he is not compelled to offer daily sacrifices they had to bring a sacrifice first for their own sins then for the sins of the people but he finished the sacrificial system once and for all when he offered himself the law appointed flow men as high priest, but God promised sealed with his oath, which succeeded the law, appoints a perfect son who is complete forever. Amen. Uh, <clears throat> now, uh, we are saying that Jesus is the surety of the new covenant, means that he is the guarantor of it. The old covenant relied on earthly human priesthood, not but the new covenant relies on Jesus' eternal priesthood and is guaranteed by God's oath, making it better, more sure, and steadfast than the old covenant. Then the Levitical high priest kept charging for two reasons, kept changing for two reasons. And um, because they were changing, they were not there permanent. So when you became a priest, you are not the high priest there forever. So because one, in the Levitical system, a priest could serve only between the ages of 25 and 50. That is according to Numbers chapter 8, verses 20, uh, uh, 24 to 25. And second, the high priest always died Jesus, the high priest, will never be replaced and will never die. Then we also see because the eternal and changing Christ is the high priest of every believer, he is able to shepherd God's people all the way home to glory. No other priest will ever be necessary. These verses summarize everything the author has said about Jesus as high priest since he is holy, always doing what pleases God. He is innocent and blameless, that is harmless. He is undefiled, morally unstained. He is higher than the heavens 
and is seated at the right hand of God. His everlasting perfection in all these ways makes him a fitting mediator for us. Mm, I like that. Jesus' priesthood is superior to the Old Testament priesthood in that he did not have to offer a sacrifice for himself because he was sinless. And he offered up at uh, a once for all sacrifice, that is himself. Then we also see the contrast between Jesus and the Old Testament priest. The Old Testament priests were sinful, weak humans who were appointed by the law. Jesus, the perfect son, was appointed an eternal high priest by God's oath. That is the difference. And um, as we continue to see other verses in John chapter 17, verses 5, Now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world existed. So you see, he we had already a, a glory. He already had the glory before the world existed, meaning that uh, he, he was there in eternal past, an eternal past and is going to be with us in eternal future. That is why this, his, superior, his covenant is superior than all others, because he was there and is there forever, from everlasting to everlasting. Then he continues to tell us in Mark 10, 37, they answered him, allow us to sit at your right and at your left in your glory so that is what that would be our desire that because he has a superior covenant that can never be broken and is able to fulfill it and do all these mighty things we have seen then what happens is we are supposed to desire and even long for us to be with christ so that we know that in Christ, we know that we are not shaken. We are, we are with him even in his eternal past and eternal future. We are forever with him and because he, is a, he has a superior covenant. And you know he has been there from the foundation. Okay, then in John 17, 24, Father, I desire those who have given me to be with me where I am then they will see my glory which you have given me because you loved me before the world's foundation you see jesus the covenant you are talking about is superior that that is the covenant that christ gives us because he does not want to lose any one of us he wants to have all of us he wants to, for us to see his glory he wants us to be with him because you know what God has loved him from be, be even uh, before the world's foundation, God had loved him. And therefore he desires that even for us who enjoy this love, we'll be able to have this experience and have this encounter with God our Father as we allow Christ to lead us and to guide us. Then 1 Peter chapter 5 verses 1. Therefore, as fellow elder and witness to the sufferings of the Messiah, and also a participant in the glory about to be revealed, I exhort the elders among you. So let's be, let's let's desire to uh, to to participate in the glory that is about to be revealed. The glory that is about to be revealed is uh, of the is of superior covenant. I mean. Because it is going to be revealed, it's something that has never been there. Because it's been revealed because it's hidden, it has never been revealed. And he reveals to us those things that no one else can reveal to us because he has a superior covenant. May the Lord bless you as you purpose to continue experiencing this superior covenant with God. That is the truth that is in Christ Jesus. Let us continue to experience Jesus who is its guarantor. That is, we are guaranteed that this covenant is there and it is surely going to be there and no one is going to take it away from us because it has been given to us. When I talk about this covenant, which is superior, I, I'm, I'm, t I'm telling you my heart is moved because this is not ordinary. 
because all the other people they will break their covenants they will never tell you the truth they will tell you i'll do this for you tomorrow and tomorrow they will not be able to do it but christ will always accomplish that which he has promised is gonna give to you he is a promise keeper he does not change he does not break his covenants he is able to see us through because he's holy he is able to keep us in light righteousness because he is righteous may the lord bless you as you purpose to walk in his ways and as you purpose to serve him in everything that he does god bless you as you purpose to walk to be uh, to be led by this high priest who has a superior covenant than all the other priests that have ever been may god bless you and uh, keep you this is bishop dr grace Kariuki of amazing grace international ministries and abundant glory international ministries mother to the amazing champions and mother to the cmcs around the globe i request you please uh, partner with us in this ministry log into our website at www.agracem.org also uh like and subscribe uh, our Facebook is Karuki Bishop Dr. Grace and YouTube is uh, Bishop Dr. Grace Karuki. Please share and even comment and let's hear what God is saying to you. Be blessed for now. I look forward to be with you in the CMC MN telecast tomorrow. And I believe God is going to be with us as he speaks to us great and wonderful and mighty things. As we also continue to experience and have an encounter with the one who has a superior covenant. Be blessed for now. Shalom, shalom, shalom.